Someone about your age, someone younger than you, someone older than you, someone already married, someone scandalous. I will dance with someone younger than me because that's fucking safe as shit. You may be too old to hold a title on your own right, but you're not the youngest noble present. The honor falls to Adair, the young lord of Eloth, who is only 12 and a head shorter than you are. Next to him, you look positively adult. Yeah, I mean, it's a safe bet. Um, hi, Elodie. Oh, Adair, you don't know what you're in for. Looks absolutely terrified at the prospect of having to dance with a girl. Ha ha. Ha. That's gonna change. But the little lord is too well-bred to refuse you. Still, you have to be careful not to step on him. Little ant. Dancing with your with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him. Knew his steps like a like a like a part of you. Now every move is a mystery. This is this is uh, there's undertones of pervert here. Unfortunately you lose track Ah, uh, I never study dance. Lose track of which steps you're supposed to do and trip over your own feet. Oops, doesn't matter. Between the dances, there's time for the guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bites of exquisite food, like my father's arm and my eye. Court matters and flattery equals success. Oh good, finally. Finally, I'm not being penalized by this game. You interact comfortably with your peers, leaving a wide word in e why, blah, blah. why. Talk about wise words, I can't even speak. During a lull of the music, Banyan, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. Mmm, if I might have your attention, I believe we should offer our compliments to my lovely holder. Her bravery and courage keep up all the planet. Everyone applauds politely. As the gala continues, you take the opportunity to serve the day. Oh, there's Gwynell, for instance, a fucking character I don't want to know about. She apparently is the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you, and due to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Adele, who's rolling in the deep, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lohaven. And a fierce sports woman. She was a few years ahead of you at school, and the absolute of me. God damn. No Bryony, whatever. Parents are here dancing together. The Duke concert clutching the Duchess. Oh, Jesus, this is this could not be less interesting to me. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? Fuck them! Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come. More of it being so close by. Sense magic is failed. Whatever. It's nice to be able to enjoy time with my friends and family, isn't it? <sighs> Can I even study magic? Oh, I can't talk to a uh, star girl anymore. All right, so what do I need to do here? I need to get less afraid and less lonely. Jesus Christ. Uh. Uh. Visit the treasury. Uh. You try to talk your way past the treasury guards, but despite eyelash fluttering, foot stomping, and outright threats, they won't budge. I'm the princess, you work for me, bitches! So that was a waste. But who's to know? There's no way to know what's going to be a waste in this game. Uh Expression. I don't want to do any of that. Uh, public speaking, that was something I should have done before. Maybe it'll come up again. I don't know. Economics, accounting... I have to get into the, uh... Yeah, flattery. I think flattery... W was it flattery in accounting that kept me out of the vault? I don't know. We'll see. You learn that flattering comments have the best impact when kept short. Gushing makes people feel awkward. You learn that it's always best to compliment people on their personality and their choices rather than their physical attributes. Study the manipulation of larger quantities through direct calculations. Boring shit. I'm sorry to put you through this, kid. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his... Companion. Siren. Oh, I wonder if she's a good lady with the name Siren. Countess of Miranda and Castillo and Carrera. You're too kind, Jocelyn, which is a girl's name. Countess Siren, not a member of your circle. She's a bit more than a decade your senior. So, 24. Basically. Far too old to have ever been your friend, and yet not at all old as noble women go. She has two minor titles. 
tied titles. No husband and your father's arm in her grasp. How dare she make a move on your father? Uh, oh, I only have bad options. Shame her with silent scorn. Insult her with false flattery. I am good at flattery. Yeah. Good afternoon, Countess. My, what large breasts you have. Putting them on display for any particular reason. Whoa. Whoa. Anity. How dare you talk about her giant supple breasts like that. Really, my dear, it's not polite to comment on a lady's attributes like that. Get fucked. But you are young. You will grow a pervert. Pervert stuff again. Pervy game. Ooh. Jake Finn. The land of ooh. References. Perhaps we'll be seeing more of each other in the future. Ah. Uh, I hope you die. She gives a little wave and exits. When she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. Don't give me that look, young lady. She's a nice woman. Nothing more. Mm, I know her name is Siren. Fucking ham-fisted writing, but okay. She wants something more. She wants your D. She wants the royal D. Yes. And it's not going to happen anytime soon. You should be careful how you deal with people like Siren. You need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. Ah, oh, Jesus. Intrigue failed. I've been studying intrigue. You fuckwit. Paying attention to what's around me. Ugh. Ugh. What is this tooltip shit? Oh, I see. It just gives me everything up on one screen. Alright, let's try the treasury again. Failed, failed. Fuck, I studied the fucking... Is it patience that was... Yeah, I think it was patience that didn't work. Okay, so... Is patience somewhere on here? Did I... Oh, presence. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And accounting, I think, failed again, so let's do that. You're too lonely to focus on fuck a fuck a fucking fuck fuck. You study money lending and controversies. Oh, get it? Because, yeah. Alright. It's the time of the year to decide any necessary adjustments to the royal budget. The majority of the money we receive is already spoken for, but there is always some room for discretion. Accounting partial success. Okay. I really don't understand all these numbers. Maybe I should leave them alone. Uh, raised... Wow, <sighs> Jesus Christ. Here's the problem. Real world economics don't apply to this shit. Keep taxes the same. I think they're fine as they are. I don't even know what they are. You haven't told me what the taxes are. As you wish. Why are you letting your daughter decide when you're the king? I mean, it should just be, what do you think, honey? And then, I think you should do this. And he's like, oh, that's cute. But really, what we're doing is this. You know, instead he's letting his kid actually make the decision. All right, so I got to get less lonely. So I got to go to court again. I know that's depressed and all that, but whatever. Uh, whatever. Now I'm too depressed to do anything. Presence and accounting. That's what I tried to do, but I was too... something. Practice wearing the royal regalia and looking at yourself in a mirror. Wow, that's that sure is important. Young as you are, you're a queen of the blood. You're a mother's daughter. You're a boy's baby. Study bookkeeping in the art of puppy, puppy puppeting. You puppet puppies. You turn puppies into puppets for class. You are requested to stand in judgment. A man has been convicted of the murder by strangling of his wife. He does not deny the act. Boy, these are some truthful people in this town, or this kingdom. But request a pardon that he might be set free. If you admit you killed your wife, why do you think I'm going to set you free? Save me, your majesty. It wasn't my fault. And so it was that Tormental's recording program stopped working.